What time is it? It's CGC unboxing time. Um, what do I have here? I have 25 vintage comic books, some really cool books, some nice keys, uh, and we're going to open her up and take a look to see what grades we got. We're going to talk about where I got them, uh, how much I spent, um, what I thought the grades were. We're talking about the fair market value, and we're going to look to see if there are any banana problems with the inner wells, fingers crossed, up next on this video from Bronzeville Comics. Hello, panelologists. This is Jim from Bronzeville Comics coming to you with another video. Before we get started, please like, comment, and subscribe. Check out the description, uh, link there to, um, I have my Instagram, my email. You can contact me there. Also, Whatnot. I'm on Whatnot every Monday nights at 10 p.m. Eastern Time, so you can check that out, follow future shows, and also my eBay store. And some of these will be ending up on my eBay store. Some of these will be available um, prior to. And of course, since I have children, my box cutter was uh, is not here. Um, so I don't know what's going on. Anyway, um, we're going to open this box. I don't know the grades. Um, and we're going to see. I'm, you know, get a little bit nervous. Now, this was submitted as a vintage submission. Uh, I sent it into CGC on July 10th. Uh, it is now September 22nd, so it took just over two months, and I don't think that's a surprise because um, CGC ran a special promotion uh, for vintage comics during the month of July, so I think I paid, I think it was the same amount as a modern submission. So, um, you know, hopefully we'll have some fun here and we'll avoid any problems like cover cleaned or restored or problems with the inner wells um, that have been popping up. But uh, none of these were, were clean, clean, cleaned. But um, yeah. So it's your regular 25 book box. I don't expect, you know, any, I don't even expect necessarily anything in the nines. Uh, maybe, maybe one or two, maybe one. I think is all I have predicted. But, um, you know, these are older books. They go back to the 50s. I got an invoice and other stuff and it's falling on the floor. Put that up here for the moment. Um, we even have a CPR book, which was unintentional CPR. I think it's backwards. I think it's backwards. I'm going to take my glasses off because I can't see any grades. And yeah, it's backwards. I'm going to just flip the box around. Again, I don't know the grades. Uh, it's my LCS's account, so I don't even have the opportunity to look at the grades if I wanted to, but I prefer to be surprised. Um, hopefully pleasantly surprised. <laughs> or at the very least, um, what I thought we had. Okay, we're starting off with Batman. This is Batman 244. Basically, it's a classic cover um, with Raj al Ghul, right? I just need to remember because when I look in the camera, it's kind of the image is reversed for me. So uh, this is Batman 244. I picked this up as part of a collection recently, a June collection, a classic Neil Adams cover. And uh, I thought, I already have a 7.5. I thought this was a 7.5. I'm seeing something up there. Did I miss her? Is that? Huh. I don't think I have that in my notes. But anyway, maybe it is there. I don't know. My notes aren't, I don't see them completely on my printout. Um, so Batman 244 thought it was a 7.5 and it came back. A 7.0, off white to white. So this does not upgrade my PC copy. So this will be available for sale. So one, one click below what I thought it would be, and that's okay. You know, um, I Again, I picked this up as part of a recent collection. So we are going to um, kind of do a little claim sale at the end. That's going to go in the uh, three S's. We've already slabbed them, so it's spec, save, or sell. Sometimes... It's sell, but because we're upgrading a prior uh, PC copy. Let's see where I'm going to put my bags. Okay. Up next is another Batman. This is Batman 251. I had two of these. I had them both at 5.0s. They have some deep spine ticks. I think this is... Um, yeah. I think this is the one. I had picked this up at an estate sale for $250, um, which is, I probably paid about what it's worth. I think it's a 5.0, -oh, 
this classic Neil Adams cover. And I've talked about it. I actually did a read-through of this particular book before I sent it off to CGC because it's just such a classic story. The story, to me, is as good as the cover. Um, that's how classic it is. And again, I'm a big um, Neil Adams fan. I had, I had this book as a child. It did not um, survive because I was really young. Uh, I was six years old. Uh, and it ended up, my mother ended up, you know, taking some of, throwing some of the way over the years when I was real young. Anyway, I think this is a 5-0, and it's a 5-0 off-white pages. Just what I thought, that's fine. This will be available for sale. Um, yeah, it does, the inner well looks maybe slightly bowed, but it's hard to tell because there were already creases on the cover, but it does seem to pronounce, right? It's not damaging the book, but like there and there, it's like the, it's pronouncing the spine ticks and it's kind of flaring out. So again, mm, nice book. So that's going to be available because uh, my, my PC copy is a 6.0. So that I didn't expect it to be an upgrade and it's not. If this is in order, at least up until now, should be the same book up next. And I thought it was the same grade. It is. Again, you can see spine stress lines. This was part of that collection I picked up in June. Um, I thought it was a 5.0, and it came back a 5.0, off white to white. So this is slightly better in that it's got one tick up in page quality, off white to white. So, um, yeah, that's because I, this is not an upgrade. This goes into the S for cell pile. Classic book. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. And again, the same kind of thing, you know, because there are spine stress lines, right? The book isn't laying completely flat due to that. But these two books are very similar. And the graders felt the same way as well in terms of the quality. Okay, this, let's see what's next. I think what's next is kind of a, a novelty book. Not a novelty, but it's, you know, kind of a unique book. And I've been searching for this for a while. And I thought it was pretty high grade. Uh, this is Beneath the Planet of the Apes. This is a PC book regardless. Um, this is, let's see if the notes, movie comics, Morris, Morris, Morris Evans, that's how it's pronounced. Photo cover, pull out, poster included. It does not list on the, and there's a little waviness at the top there. Um, it does not list the fact that this is the first Planet of the Apes in comics. It's not the magazine. It's not the adventures on the Planet of the Apes Marvel series. This is the first Planet of the Apes in comics. Uh, this was the second movie. It was a sequel to the 1968 Planet of the Apes film of Charlton Heston. Uh, and then uh, Heston does appear briefly in this at the beginning and at the end. Um, and it was the second in the five films that came out in the 60s and 70s. That was a big part of my childhood. I thought this was an 8.5. I got it for uh, $250 on eBay. So let's hope for the best. 8.5. Very good. Right on the right on the money. Off white to white. I will take that, I think. I'm not sure what the fair market value is. There are a lot of these. But again, I'm... The spine stresses, the, the slight spine ticks are kind of enhanced in these inner wells. And maybe we're just paying more attention to it now, but that is a definite save book. Next book. Ooh, another Batman. We're taking a little bit of a step back. This is going to, uh, this is, doo -doo 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 -doo. yeah, I think this is going to be for sale. I do have another copy that I haven't graded yet, but I think I'm going to put this up for sale because I'm, I'm hoping the other copy is better than this. If not, I'll hunt for one. Um, this does have, it's somewhat brittle. There's there's a piece missing here. Um, I had this at a 2.5. This is Batman 139, uh, the first appearance of the Betty Kane version of Batgirl, right? That came out, what was this, uh, seven years before Barbara Gordon? 
Um, nice book. And um, the uh, I thought this was a 2.5. I picked this up at the Stormville Flea Market for uh, 112 bucks. And it is his first appearance of the original Batgirl, two words, Betty Kane. Batwoman appearance. First blue. What does it say? Bowman, formerly, formerly Signal Man. So I had this at a 2.5. It is a lower grade. Ooh, 1.8. That hurts. Off white to white. I think that's what really killed it. I think it was too, too big a piece to... Um, to do better than that so that's that's gonna hurt uh, this will be for sale I have to look at the graders notes on this oh there's also unfortunately something missing back there so for a flea market fine a hundred bucks plus I got the the you know the, the deal on the vintage grading uh, I probably will kind of break even with that okay up next this is Batman 155 this is, and this is a big book right now because it's the first Silver Age appearance of the Penguin. Uh, we just last week had the first episode of the Penguin TV series on Max starring Colin Farrell. It was excellent, I thought. I thought it was a, an outstanding series. I picked this up just over three years ago in a huge Batman collection and I didn't get it graded. Um, I've been holding off on getting those, those books graded because they're gonna be part of the PC. But for this book, both the Penguin series, number one, and I had gotten a copy in a trade. Um, somebody wanted an ASM one that I had, and I traded him a, you know, we, he, I got a bunch of books in return. Um, and some of them I'm keeping, some of them are not. This is one I might keep. Uh, the one that I got, that I currently have in the PC, I got in a trade is a 4.0. So I, I thought this was a 4.5. It does have a little bit of a spine split. And the, uh, like, the center fold, actually the three center wraps were detached. So I don't know how badly that affects the grade. It was hard to determine because there's not a lot of information about that kind of defect. Um, so I didn't, you know, pay for this book in particular as part of a collection that had Batman like 150 to 500. Um, and I, you know, uh, I've kept most of it, you know, and that's kind of been my 150 to 400. And that's kind of been my Batman collection that I'm upgrading. So, um, Batman 155. I thought it was a 4.5 for a Silver Age appearance of the Penguin, and it is a 4.0. Cream to off-white pages. I think the other one, and I have to check the page quality. <laughs> I had it up on my computer just a second ago. It is cream to off-white pages. So now I have to look at the two of them and determine which one I want to keep because they're essentially the same. Might lean towards keeping this just because it's a newer slab. I don't know. So that's a question mark that I have to look at. So that's a 4.0. That doesn't help me make a decision. <laughs> if it was worse, easy decision. If better, easy decision. Anyway, up next. Ooh, this is a good one. I hope. It's a nice, you know, key that I'm looking for. If I think it is in your... It is. So this came in that collection I got in June. Um... The original collector started collecting right around this time. This was one of the, the earliest books in the collection. And um, this is Batman 232 from June of 1971. It's the first appearance of Raj al Ghul with this amazing Neil Adams cover. I just love the coloring and the gray tone of Raj al Ghul. That's just awesome. My PC copy is a 6.0. I thought this was a 7.5. There's a very faint crease on the book. In the in the bottom corner here, um, and I didn't know how much it was going to get dinged for that, so I don't even see where it is through the the plastic of the slab and the inner well. But I thought this was a um, I thought it was a seven five. So if it's better than a six zero, it's going to go on the PC, and it is an eight zero. That is great. O. <laughs> a uh, off white to white fine with that so it was above what i thought it was they didn't really detect or ding for the um the crease but i am super super happy with that that is going in the pc and then i will sell the under copy now the inner well situation this is i don't know what to do about this right you can like if you if you can look 
closely, like in the in the light. There's something there, and there and there, right? That's a little bit frustrating. It's not damaging the book, I don't think. Um, there were some spine stresses. They don't break color. Um, I just don't know. I don't know what to do with this. It's going to be in the PC. I mean, I'm, I'm really happy with it. Uh, 8.0. Wow, that is awesome. I don't know what the fair market value of that is, but it is sizable. I was actually, when I was at the Baltimore Comic Con uh, earlier today, I was looking at, um, what was it Comic Connect, the, the books they had coming up for auction, and uh, I was with 360 Comics, and we were kind of, you know, oogling over the uh, the books, and it's like they had, you know, I think they had a Detective 27, a Superman 1, I mean, crazy stuff like that crazy golden age stuff and i'm like a, a sensation one i'm like want it 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 usually i look at a wall i'm like have it have it have it eh, want it don't want it have it have it have it um and joe goes well you have that batman right i go yes but not in a 9.8 i have it in 8.0 which is a little closer so we'll 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 take it cardboard oh, don't want to look don't want to look at grades so that is cool um, yeah, we've the, the, the two books, uh, an 80 and 85. So for, for vintage, these are, you know, keys. Okay, what's next? Okay, Amazing Spider-Man 101. This is the first appearance of Morbius. Was a much bigger book before the movie came out. This came out of that same collection with the uh, Raj al Ghul. Uh, so this is just a couple months later. Again, just a few books from that time. Interesting about this, this was the last 15th center by Marvel. The next month they went to 25 cents, which was several months after DC had gone from 15 to 25. But then Marvel went back, went down to 20 the month after that, and DC didn't do that for a year. And during that time, uh, Marvel did surpass DC in um, comics sold on the market. So anyway, uh, this came in that collection. I have this at a 7.5. Um, it's a really nice book, you know, despite the fact that the movie did not do particularly well thank you sony we do have some roughness over there i did 7 7.5 let's see what it came out as and it's a 7.5 off white to white pages very happy with that exactly what i thought it was so not upset at all but again i mean i'm seeing and these aren't nine eights so you know, there's, there is, like, right by Spidey's foot there, and then right there. It's kind of putting pressure. And if I look from the side, it's maybe a slight bend. It's not, you know, it's maybe a few millimeters. But I don't know if I'm paying more attention to that now or if it just shows up more. So that is for sale. Um, I, do, I do use Amazing Spider-Man as my... Um, cash cow <laughs> so that is really good up next uh, I think these are a couple more Spideys from that same collection indeed this is Amazing Spider-Man 121 The Death of Gwen Stacy and um, yeah it says quote unquote Death of Gwen Stacy she was dead they killed her you know despite all the Spider Gwen stuff she she's dead so, um, again, this, oh, this is an early, yeah, this is 1973. So this is like right when this collector was collecting. Unfortunately, he um, was a Marvel value stamp collector. Also, fortunately, he did not collect Incredible Hulk. But some of the Spider-Mans, like the 134 and 135, that range, they had the MVSs clipped out of them. But this is earlier than that. Nice 20-cent book. Um, I had it a 5.0. And it came in as a 5.5. White Pages. Now, this is interesting. The White Pages designation. Um, because this is the same collection. If you saw my video a few weeks ago with the 129 first Punisher that um, came in as conserved, cover cleaned. Cover was not cleaned. I did the same thing because, you know, this cover was, the back cover was kind of dirty. Um, and I dry cleaned it. And it was, I got it from an antique store, and he got it from the original owner. The way the, the the way the collection was put together, it was an original owner. He had this book as a kid and didn't do anything to clean it. Same with the 129. So, um, but the white pages, he they whatever conditions the books were kept in, there was no oxidation. 
really on these books. Um, the Raj Al Ghul is off white to white. So this is going to be available as well. So 5.5 and a tick above what I thought. So let's just add one to that. I think the next book should be what I think it is. Oops, I'm, you might have seen that. I did not. Amazing Spider-Man 122, the quote-unquote death of Green Goblin. Um, so, you know, a classic storyline um, with John Romita art. Was it Romita? I mean, let's see. I think it was Romita. Jerry Conway story, John Romita cover. Gil Kane, John Romita, and... Tony Moritello art. Anyway, um, another classic Spider-Man book, again from this collection. I had it at a 5.5, um, and it came out as a 5.5, off white to white. So exactly where I thought it was going to fall. Nice book. I mean, am I, I got to look at my other books to, to check older slabs to see... Like, if I'm noticing... I mean, I, I don't see a real big curvature of the spine. But, you know, again, I'm seeing... And, and you know, maybe a pronunciation and any stresses on the spine. This doesn't really have any major spine ticks. It just has, like, edge wear. And like, a soft corner up there and stuff like that. So, can't complain about that book. Let's see what's next. Oh, we've not jumped to the bottom of the list. <laughs> and this came from a collection I picked up in, in April. Um, X-Men number 50. There weren't a lot of Silver Age books in that collection, but this was one of them, this classic cover by Jim Starenko, the first appearance of Polaris. This is more the cover than the first appearance of Polaris. Polaris is a somewhat minor X-Men character. She was in that, what was the TV series... Uh, that was on Fox a few years ago. There was a version of her in that. Um, I could see them using her. She's a pretty cool character, and I did enjoy, like, when Neil Adams was doing the run, um, and they did use her in Havoc a bit. At any rate, um, I had this at a 5.5. There are a couple of creases at the bottom, and that that was really the, the only major thing wrong with the book. I mean, you can see that it looks great. Um, so this I had at a 5.5. And CGC decided it was a 5.5, off white to white. This is a different collection than the Spider-Man books came from. So, um, this will be available as well. Um, so, again, if you hold on to the end of the video, I'm going to do like a little mini claim sale. We'll talk all about that. So, I wasn't planning on keeping a lot of these books. So, that's, you know... Pay, pay, have the hobby pay for itself. The big books I got in this collection, you know, and I'm upgrading the stuff that I want to. Okay, this is a fun book. I'm not sure what to do with this. I think I'm going to keep this. Um, this is Black Hawk 117, and it is from 1957. This is the oldest book in the submission. It's low grade. Uh, I bought this on eBay for $61. And it is, it says there, Mr. Freeze Appearance. Now, this is not the Mr. Freeze that we all know and love, but he does predate Batman 121 with the first appearance of Mr. Zero, who later became Mr. Freeze. So that's what makes this book, uh, you know, somewhat sort of, I think I'm going to keep this. Why not? Um, it is not a, an overly expensive book. And I had this at like a three, five, but you see, there's quite a bit of spine wear there. Um, there aren't a whole lot of keys in the Black Hawk run, especially like when you're over issue 100 you know, and you start to get into the Silver Age. So this is very early Silver Age, about a year in. It's still a 10 center. Um, and I, again, I had this at a 3.5, and it is a 3.5, off white to white. My grading is pretty on point so far. That's pretty cool. Uh, keeping, keeping that, just for fun. Not 
Up next is a copy of Detective Comics 265. Not a key. Um, Batman's origin retold with new facts. Um, just a 1950s Detective Comics 10 center. I thought it was fairly nice. It probably wasn't as nice as I originally thought when I kind of put it in my clean and press pile. Um, when all said and done, I thought it was at a 6.0. It does present really nicely. Nice cover gloss. Um, so probably what I don't know what the fair market value of this is. I picked it up in a collection. I have it at a 6.0 and it came back as a 5.0 off white pages. So even worse than I thought. Um, this recent collection I got the, with the, the Batman books and the ASM books. You also had a huge run of detective comics. Now, I didn't really start collecting de detective comics um, seriously until like the early 80s. So, and this was a full run. So I pulled all the books from Detective Comics in that collection that either I didn't have or I thought were upgrades, which were about 100 books. And now I collect Detective Comics. Because why not? You know, before this, you only have 264 issues to go. I don't know how, how low I'll go, but I just got Detective Comics is kind of a, a back burner collection right now. Maybe I'll try to get down to 400 complete and then we'll see so that is 5.0 not great anyway moving on the next book uh i think it is what it is what it's in the order and it is not <laughs> this is special marvel edition number 15 first appearance of shang chi this was an enormous book leading up to the um shang chi movie uh but i think what happened is you know interest waned in the character because they haven't done much with him since the movie. He's going to be back. Um, no question about that. Uh, I got this in a collection back in March that had a few keys from this era. I think that's where I got my Hulk. The Hulk 181 was in that collection. Um, and I thought this did have some tearing at the top staple. Yeah, that's right by Shang-Chi's foot there. Um, I thought this was a 7.5. And again, he's going to be back. This is probably going to go into the spec pile. 7.5, 7.5, off white to white. Only had, what, two positive surprises? I've been on on most of them. The Raj Al Ghul and the uh, Death of Gwen. Uh, okay, that's going to go in a spec pile. Put that over here. We'll wait to see Shang Chi gets hot again. You know, like I said, he's going to be used again. If not in his own movie and something else. Okay. Up next, Swamp Thing number one. What is my PC copy? Hold on a minute. I have to check that. Because this might be an upgrade. It's going to be close. Um, my PC copy is a 7.0. And that's what I thought this is. So if it's below that, it's for sale. If it's above that, the other one's for sale. And if it's a tie, which is like what I had it, what I thought it would come back as, uh, then I have to take a closer. No, actually, I thought this was a light, an 8 -0. The problem, the biggest problem with this book was there was a light water stain that kind of disrupted the gloss on the back cover. So we'll see how badly that hit it. Maybe 8 -0 was a little um, hopeful. I got this, I paid $104 for this at, at uh, a flea market. So um, I think I'm doing well with this book regardless. Better than a 7 -0, that would be great. And then I got to dig out my PC copy. Uh, and it came, I said, I, I thought it was an 8.0, and it came back. 5.5. Five. Wow, they must have really. Hmm. That is. Hmm. I'm going to have to take a look at the graders' notes on this one. That is really. I'm not, I'm not off by 2.5 points usually. So I'm going to put this in the cell pile. It's not an upgrade. I might have to put this in whoo, a... I'm going to put it in the over here pile. Might have to CPR that. Wow, that is disappointing. The next one is not a... It's, it's a weird book for what it is. It's in lower grade. Um, it is... Yeah, it is what I thought it was. Thor 225... 
first appearance of Fire Lord, a Herald of Galactus. He was the third Herald of Galactus after Silver Surfer and Airwalker. Anyway, um, it's I thought it was like a 5-0. And I picked this up in that huge collection. If you've been following the channel for a long time, uh, the first really big collection I picked up that had the Hulk 181 in it and a, full run of Con a whole big run of Conan, Fantastic Four, and FF 48, 49, 50, 52, and so on, so on, so on. Um, there's one other book in here from that collection that I've gone through. Um, and I did get a bunch of those graded and sold a bunch um, and kept a bunch. But uh, anyway, what the reason I had it graded, even though it's like lower grade, is it's a Mark Jewelers. And this had a huge spine roll on it. That, so we corrected that. You can see, if you look at the back cover, you can still see. it's not. I didn't perfectly correct, but you can see the blue of the MJ insert sticking out. So anyway, uh, I had this at a 5.0, and it came back a 4.5. I'm going to put this in the spec pile because, you know, it's... We'll see if they ever do something with Fire Lord. It's not going to be that valuable in this grade, but... Basically, I paid four bucks for it as part of that collection, so I'm not really into it, you know, plus a lower slabbing cost because of the deal that CGC had going on for submissions during July for Vintage. Basically, I, I'm pretty sure it was the same price as um, Modern, which, uh, you know, kind of caused a little bit of backlog. Okay, let's see what we got up next. Oh, I have two of these. Um, and I got the figure out which one is which so I think this is the one that I picked up let me see yes okay so I picked this up uh, I bought a bunch of them um there were he had basically Hawkman three through nine in nice shape um and I three hundred dollars for all of them right And um, so I prorated out their values. I paid two hundred twenty-seven dollars for this book, right, and then seventy-three dollars for the the others, uh, which included a double cover on number nine. But that also had pop staples for both covers. Anyway, pop bottom staples popped. The rest of the book this would be like an eight five if it weren't for that popped staple. So I had this at a five five. Um, I'm going to keep this regardless. This will. Um, I have two in here. And I have two that I haven't cleaned and pressed yet, and we, uh, we haven't seen Zatanna. So I'm going to hold on to this until James Gunn announces Zatanna. Uh, first appearance is Zatanna. She's not on the cover. Hawkman number four from 1964. And I thought, again, I thought this was a 5-5, five, five, and it's a 6-0. Oh. Okay, off white to white. I cannot complain about that. 6.0, off white to white. First Zatanna. That's cool. So I'm going to keep that that for right now that's a pc copy and i don't think any of the, the books i have are better than that that's a pretty expensive book today um you know zatanna is pretty popular and she will be more popular if we get uh her in the dcu okay uh next let's see what do we get next what do we get next yep iron man number 55 first appearance of thanos um this was uh part of the collection i picked up in june i thought this was a 5.5 five for number 55, mid-grader, um, but still still a very collectible 20-cent Bronze Age book. Uh, again, I thought this was a 5.5. Five. It's also the first appearance of Drax, the Blood Brothers, Star Fox, and Kronos. Um, so, Iron Man 55. I thought it was a 5.5, five, and it is a 6.5. So, the second pleasant surprise in a row. First Thanos. Off-white, two white pages. Happy with that. This will be available for sale. I think I know what's next, but we will see. Yes. So this is another one of the more interesting, kind of unique books. You don't see this book a lot, you know. I mean, you've probably seen a bunch of if you watch uh, vintage unboxings, you've probably seen your share of ASM 101s and 121s and Iron Man 55s. This is Johnny Quest number one. It was um, a one-shot from 
Gold Key in 1964, based on the Hanna-Barbera TV series of the time. I'm trying to see what's weird about this is only issue, back cover pinup, story adapted from pilot episode of the ABC primetime cartoon series. Um, this was before my time. I did watch this show in um, reruns, and they've just rebooted this. So I got this at the Stormville Flea Market just over three years ago for $70. Um, and I was really happy to get it. This is, you'll see the fair market value of this book if it's anywhere near the grade I think it is, and I, I, I don't think I'll get a big surprise. Um, I had this at a 6.0. Now, there is a new Johnny Quest uh, book out is it dynamite somebody has space ghost and johnny quest books out now i'm collecting those i love the Komiko series um from the 80s and um at some point they're going to adapt this but this is a pc book um there is some spineware and there's a little bit of staining again i had this at a 6.0 and it's a 6.0 off white to white exactly what i thought i did have to correct a spine roll on this and unlike a lot of the other gold key books of the era, the back page or the back cover is a different image. And this is also like, you know, when you get books slabbed, you do books that have something on the back cover of note other than, you know, um, why is this guy smiling at or something, uh, you know, is pretty cool. So the one thing that's interesting, and I don't see any banana because there's no inner well on this. I don't think. Yeah, there's, I don't. There is no inner, there's not an inner well there, right? Because one thing about these gold key books, even though it's from 1964, you have to use, um, if they're raw, you have to use golden age bags because they're wider than Marvel or DC books. So I'm, I, I'm so happy with this in a 6.0. And for $70? Nice. That's PC. Very happy, very happy. Okay, we still have, like, what, six books left? So I am not at all disappointed in this submission so far. I don't think anything's going to really, like, um, make me all that sad. <laughs> um, ju -ju 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 -ju. Ah, here's the... Okay, so this is an interesting story. This is Flash 110, first appearance of Wally West, the Kid Flash, and also the first appearance of Weather Wizard, who gets the cover billing. It's a book from, you know, you, you see the date. December 59, January 1960. Um, now, I got this book on Whatnot. Uh, back in, I bought this a while back. in uh, Two years ago. Just under two years ago I bought this book. It was a slab. I don't have the, the label. It's somewhere in a folder in my basement. And if you... You know, you just get a glimpse of my basement. It's a mess. I don't know where where it is, but it's a. It came as a 4.0. I bought it on whatnot. The guy was selling all slabs. The book arrives at the post office in a bubble mailer, and maybe I'll link up the 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 video from that. So I pulled it out, and it was cracked. I mean, I just pulled out the top of it. Essentially, it was so badly cracked. Book was fine. And fortunately, it was a CPR candidate. The biggest defect on the book is, and it's hard to tell, there's right above the word challenge, there's a tear, right? It's a fairly clean one, right? That's the biggest thing on the book. It, it was a 4.0. I'm hoping it got upgraded. I had this as a 5.0. This is a pretty big book. A nice, you know, first appearance key of a major pretty major character in dc lore i thought it was a 5.0 first wally west yes and it's white pages five five white pages that is a three grade point bump that is so awesome i don't do a lot of cpr and i only did the cpr because i had to because the c was already there it and i once i looked at it i saw that it had never been cleaned or pressed it did need some cleaning on the back and I did, an, and I have to thank um, Dr. Paul with Liberty Hill Comics. He did a video, watch this if you're interested in conservation or just cleaning and pressing. He did a thing where he talked about using um, eraser crumbs, which is a document cleaning pad, which is essentially little eraser crumbs. And I was able, I did the same thing with the, the Hawkman 4. 
um, clean this book, which it needed, and it looks, it just brings the luster out on a, wow, I am really happy with this. And, you know, I, I was hoping for a, an upgrade from 4 to 5, and we get an upgrade from 4 to 5.5, and we get, I did, I do believe it had white pages uh, the first time around. Man, imagine what it would be without that tear. Be like a, probably be like a 7. So I can live with this as a PC. This is a PC copy, no question about it. So again, I paid four ninety five for it. Um, I, I'm not sure. You know, I edit in the fair market value afterwards. Um, so that is. Oh, I am. I can't tell you how happy I am with this book and PC. So I have. I believe I have the first appearance of every member of the Teen Titans, with two exceptions, Robin, and Speedy. <laughs> which are enormous books because Robin's first appearance is Robin's first appearance. And Speedy's first appearance is in More Fun Comics 73, and it's with Green Arrow's first appearance, which is coincidentally, that book is also Aquaman's first appearance. Um, but I have, I think I have every other member of the Teen Titans uh, throughout all their incarnations' first appearances. So those two are books to work on. So, yeah, I got the Aqualad, the Aqualad and the, the Kid Flash are the other two oldest and then the Wonder Girl. And I think... Oh, and the Betty Kane. That's also a first appearance of a... She was Teen Titans West. Anyway, I digress. Green Lantern number 40. This is the first time that Hal Jordan and Alan Scott teamed up. Um, I bought this off eBay for $66. I don't think it has a huge amount of value. I thought it was a 5.5. Five. So if it's a little bit below that, you know, I'm not doing great in terms of its value. It's also um, the first appearance of Krona who was the um, character in the Christ on Infinite Earth storyline who essentially caused the the multiverse and that they needed to undo it. It was a whole plot point with Krona. Anyway, I had this at a 5.5. It was kind of wear all the way around. It's just, you know, a well-worn book from 1965. Um, and I thought, what again, a 5.5, five, and it is a 6.5 white pages. So, wow, that's that's really great. Um, very happy with that. This is a PC book. I, I'm low-key collecting Green Lantern, but I'm also collecting any books from the 60s, 70s, and early 80s that have to do with Earth 2. Any of the Just Society characters, you know, crossovers in The Flash with Jay Garrick or Al Pratt in The Atom, all the JLA, JSA crossovers, you know, the Mr. and Mrs. Superman stories in, um, Superman Family, and all that fun stuff, so... This, this was a book I had been hunting for a while, and again, I just I only paid sixty six dollars for it on eBay, so that's really good. Now the next book I probably took take a little bit of a loss on because I paid up for it on eBay. If it is what I think it is, and the way these books are put in the the order they're put in, that's what would make sense. It should be the other Hawkman four. This should be the lower grade one, and again I did use the document cleaning pad to clean this one up, and it it just had kind of you know dirt on it you know some some grime and it, it cleaned up beautifully in that regard um and it's dry cleaning you're using eraser eraser crumbs essentially so let's get it in focus come on this is the first satana origin first appearance of satana um in hawkman 4 i just picked up at uh, at baltimore comic con today her first cover appearance which was in an adam comic i forget the number of the top of my head now, I, in 2022, just over two years ago, I've had this book for two years. That's how long it took me to grade it. I bought this on eBay for $743. Uh, I think it's a 5.0. Fair market value of the 5.0 probably be a little bit below that. That's okay. Um, and I thought that this was a 5.0, and it came back a 6.0. Cream to off-white pages. So the other one is a 6.0 as well, but it had better page quality. This is going to be a spec book. I'm just going to put it in the spec pile. We're going to wait for Zatanna. So a 6.0, actually, I might do pretty well uh, compared to what I paid for two years ago. And again, DC books didn't rise as high as Marvel books did during the pandemic because there wasn't as much speculation because of the quality of the DC movies and just kind of the fan base in general. Um, so I, I'm expecting the last three books, two higher grade books, one definitely lower grade book. Um, and let's see what we got here. This is Fantastic Four 120. I kind of took a swing at the fences on this one. Uh, this is the first appearance of um, Thundra. And uh, 
you know, this I, I love these picture frame covers. This is from 1972. It's also a 72 key, so I might keep it because I'm collecting all DC books from 72 and all Marvel keys. I have all the big Marvel books from 72. Um, not all of them graded. This probably isn't in the top 10 in terms of value. I got this in that, that collection with the Incredible Hulk uh, three years ago. So I essentially paid $4 for this. That's kind of how I broke down the collection. It was like 2,000 some odd books for $8,400, $8,500. And I figured each book is $4. And then the Hulk 181 is like 400 and change to equal 8,500. Anyway, that's how I, do, I did my accounting on it. Um, so this is Fantastic Four 129 in an 80. I thought it was an 80. We'll see what CGC thought. 75. So just below. I'm. For now, I'm going to keep this. I don't. I'm not in a rush to move this. It's not a, an enormously valuable book. I might be tempted to move it if we do get the Thundra in the MCU. I wouldn't hold my breath. I don't think that's. If I'm Kevin Feige, that's not a character I'm putting at the top of the chalkboard um, in the writers' room. So, but I'm going to keep that. And we have two more books. Now the next one. is Fear, number 19. Now, the title of this book is Fear. Not Adventure into Fear, but just Fear. Um, and this is from 1973. This is the first appearance of Howard the Duck. And I picked this up in a collection in um, March. This was the same collection that had the uh, first Shung Chi from this batch. Um, and I, you know, I'm kind of way behind in my um, books. You can see I'm clean and pressing books I bought like two years ago. Uh, I'm working on books I got like over a year ago. But uh, bigger books from collections, especially books that I'm interested in selling or, you know, getting ready in time for movies, potentially. Anyway, this is the first appearance of Howard the Duck. I've long thought, I do have already have a copy of this that's definitely lower grade than this. I think it's like a seven. Um, I thought this was a nine. It's really clean. There is a small tear somewhere. I'm not going to look for it right now. But there's a small tear somewhere in the book on the cover. Um, but I didn't think that was a big enough deal to drop it below a 9. We'll see what CGC thought. And it got an 8-0. Ooh, that hurts. I want to look at the grader's notes on that one. Off white to white. I thought it was pretty clean, too. And the thing about this, the, the spine stresses are kind of highlighted i would say that's the word i would use um for like what's happening in these books i'm not do i do i see a big curve not really maybe a slight one but not you know it doesn't look like it's squished in there this is a little bit of a disappointment over what i thought it was um but it's going to be for sale Again, I got it as part of a collection. And the last one is going to be lower grade. And I kind of bought this. This was probably a, a more of a FOMO buy at the time. Um, and there is... I'm going to hold on to it for a little bit. I do have another copy of this I, that, that I had gotten in a collection. Um, that was a, kind of a surprise in that collection. This is Fightin' Five, number 40. It's the first appearance of Peacemaker. Um, you wouldn't necessarily tell that from the cover. Because, you know, um, we have... The number, the, these Charltons, the numbers are so minuscule, and it's hard to even focus on it. Right in the bottom corner, the top red triangle is a 40, and you kind of need 2010 vision to see that. Um, but anyway, now the good news is all these books were universal grades, no crack slabs, and um, not a whole lot of disappointments in terms of the grades I got, maybe two. The Swamp Thing was a big one, and the Howard the Duck a little one. Um, Fighting Five, number 40. I thought this was a 3.5. The top staples detached. You can see a big crease there. It is, it's got some tanning. Uh, you can see along the edge. 3.5 is what I thought it was. And it's a 4.0 off white pages. So that's not too bad. I did buy this uh, off of eBay. I don't have the date that I bought it. I paid $440 for it, all in. That includes taxes and shipping. So... Mm, that's probably going to go in the... I'm going to save it for now. So, um, I'm saving about half the books. i got to pull out a couple of books to compare. And um, one book is definitely an upgrade. I, the, my, my, I think my favorite book in the submission is that Rajal Ghul. And actually, that is the 
No, the Planet of the Apes, which I'm keeping at 8.5, and the Raj Al Ghul at 8.0 were the two highest grades. Oh, and the Fear was an 8.0, which was a disappointment. That's what I thought the highest grade was going in. So we'll take a look at a couple of graders' notes. I'm going to look at fair market value, and then we're going to do a claim sale. So I'll be back in just a second for you. Okay, well, it's been a long video, but I am going to give you guys the opportunity to some, get some good deals on these slabs. Um, so here's the, here's the, the deal. Um, I'm going to show the slab. I'll give you the cert number. Two of them are uh, older slabs from that are upgrades from this submission, right? Um, they're going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 books available. Um, I'm keeping the other 11. And again, I'm actually keeping 13 because two are upgrades. Um, the total FMV, when I as you saw, I kept the running total there. It was $8,565. Not bad day at the office. Uh, but I, obviously, this takes a long time. I cleaned and pressed all these myself, you know, and I acquired all these from collections and, um, you know, flea markets and eBay. Um, actually, I don't think I got any of these. No, the, the I'm sorry. No, uh, blah, 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 blah. I don't think I got any of these at a show. That's interesting. Anyway, so let's see what we got. So first up is going to be Batman 155. This is the first appearance, or the first Silver Age appearance of the Penguin. This is, uh, I'm keeping the newer book. This is still a fairly recent uh, slab. It's, uh, you know, the most recent generation. It does not have the QR code on the back. Um, it was the exact same grade and page quality. Uh, the cert number here is 375-211-0003. I, they did not have the uh, scans, high-res scans of the book at the time. The biggest defect is down there at the corner. You'll see, you can see the grader's notes though. So that's that book. It's 475. So here's the deal. If you want any of these books... It's essentially a not in real time claim sale. Um, I will ship the books to you um, insured. And anything over, if you pay over $200, is uh, going to be signature rec uh, required. Um, I'm asking for $15 shipping. For up to three books, if you want more than that, we'll have to see what the exact value is. We can go back and forth on that. Email me. My email's in the description, bronzevillecomics, all one word, at gmail.com. So that's the best way to get in touch with me if you want any of these books. This is the price you pay, plus $15 for shipping. The form of payment, payment is PayPal Friends and Family. If you do feel more comfortable using goods and services, I'm going to have to add 5% to this. I'll keep the shipping at $15.00. And you have to add 5% to the sticker price, okay? Just because I, I have to pay a fee. So that's uh, the first book. The second book is also an older slab because we upgraded this one. So I got an 8.0, which is an upgrade over my 6.0. This was uh, from a collection I had gotten a while back. Uh, first appearance of Raj Al Ghul, off white to white pages. The cert number is 399-433-4001. Again, you're not going to see a scan of that. If you're interested in this book, let me just double check. Yep. It's $450 for the first Raj Al Ghul. This one, I'm a little bit disappointed in the grade, but what the hey, hey. Fear, number 19, first appearance of Howard the Duck. And also, if, if something does sell once once I receive payment, I'll put a, um, a comment in the um, on this video that'll be like, you know, blah, blah, ASM1 sold, whatever. I don't have an ASM1, but I'm just saying. Um, certain number here, and this is all of the certain, the rest of the books are going to be from this submission, 4468107014, Fear 1980, Off White to White, 150, First Howard the Duck. Uh, 
Up next is Iron Man 55 and a 6.5 off white to white. Um, first appearance of Thanos, also Drax and the Blood Brothers and Star Fox and uh, is it Kronos. Iron Man 55, 65 off white to white, 450. Next book, X-Men number 50, classic Storenko cover, first appearance of Polaris 5.5, off-white pages, and the cert number is four, again, you can look at, you can see all 25 of these high-red scans um, by just changing the last two digits, everything between 0, 1, and 25, four, they all start with 44681070, and this is 25 for the last two digits. Amazing Spider-Man, number 22, 5.5, off-white to white, Death of Green Goblin. And the cert number is, uh, again, 4468107003. That's 160. Amazing Spider-Man, another one. Number 121. Death of Gwen Stacy, 5.5 white pages, 4468107002, 55 off white, or 55 white, 250. Amazing Spider Man 101. First appearance of Morbius, 7.5 off white to white, 4468107001, that's $350. One of our disappointments here, got a nice affordable copy. You can see the high red scans of all of these, but the Penguin and the Raj. Um, Batman 139, first appearance of Betty Kane, Batgirl, 818, light tan to off-white. <laughs> um, yeah, it is a, a brittle book. Uh, it's 4468107004, um, quality and again take a look at the high risk in now there are two of these books um and i'll make i'll make a distinction for page quality uh yes batman 251 classic neil adams cover uh four four six eight now be careful because there are two of these this is 4468107009. Um, this is the one that's off white to white pages. That will be 340. And then the other one is Batman 251 4468107008. That's 50 off white pages. So that's a little bit lower, 330. And the final book that is available is going to be very affordable, but still a nice copy. And again, you can see the hybrid scans of all but the Penguin and the Rajal Ghoul by typing in the cert number into the CGC website. 4468, where is it? 107007, off white to white, 70 off white to white, 
and this classic Neil Adams cover, and that's one hundred fifty dollars. Okay. Um, so the in, in total, um, yeah, I'm keeping a bunch of these. I'm really happy with some of the PC books. Uh, and the upgrade for the Rajal Ghoul was awesome. And the grade bump for the Kid Flash, then that's the most valuable book in the submission at eight hundred fifty dollars fair market value, and I paid four ninety five for it. So, you know, like a three hundred fifty dollar bump ski on that, and maybe it was good fortune smiling on me that they took care of the C in the CPR because it made my mind up for me. Um, and that's when I bought it. I bought that two years ago. So um, I got a good deal on a 4.0 and, I, you know, a, a three grade bump from 4.0 to 5.5 is makes me makes me a happy person. Um, and, you know, then the, the, the Hawkman 4 is both 6.0s. Very happy with that. Uh, the Johnny Quest, that's a harder book to get a fair market value because it doesn't trade that much. The Rajal Ghoul, very happy with. And um, the uh, also very happy with the Beneath the Planet of the Apes. Not an enormously expensive book. Again, the one that doesn't trade hands too often. Would have liked maybe to get it in the nines and maybe I'll hunt for one. But First Planet of the Apes, and that was a part of my childhood. So um, I, I think that that's a really underappreciated book. So anyway, gosh, it's been a long video. Um, it's like an hour and 24 minutes to me, um, but a lot of this is going to be edited out. But uh, thank you for sticking by. Uh, I really appreciate it. You can take a look at a couple of my other videos here. And this is Jim saying until next time, enjoy your comics.